It's time for the Ryan Report on Atlanta's big station, V103. I want one of these. My grandmother used to call these dream books. But she was talking about for the lottery. My dream book is the Rob Report. <laughs> Here's the Ryan Report. I was going to say, for those of us out the If you want to see what I'm talking about, you can go to v-103.com. That's called a tease. I like that. Nanny, nanny, boo, boo. <laughs> you know the rest. Yep. All right. Nicolas Cage has made so much money. Ridiculous amounts. So much money, he doesn't even know where he lives sometimes. No. The video is up. Him and his wife arguing in the tattoo parlor in New Orleans. Mm. Apparently, after they got into that argument, they went from house to house till they said... This is my house. This is not our house. Yes, this is my house. This is not our house. Apparently, uh, Nicolas Cage was so drunk that uh, he thought he was in front of his house. His wife said, no, that's not the one we rent. Then Nicolas Cage started hitting vehicles and jumped into a taxi. Of course, the police were on the scene like they always are. And he started yelling at the officer. You know what happens. He gets arrested. Of course. You know, he, he was yelling at the officer, well, why don't you just arrest me then? Right. Why would you ever try to see if a police officer wants to call your bluff? Well, we've seen what happens when people get confused and get really worked up about their house. Right. We've heard it before. Right. Do you not remember this house tirade? My house. No, it is. And if you don't like it, you get the f*** out. Wow. <laughs> you know, that whole house thing. He would be tripping on their house. That's a sensitive subject for Nick Cage because he's selling like six of his houses around the right. world because he's he's broke now. They're all under foreclosure and he's trying to get rid of them, including his mansion in New Orleans. So, you know, he probably just recently got booted from it and he's not really exactly sure where he stays. You got to totally have a lot of money when you don't know where your house is. <laughs> right. You think that's your house. Right. It's one of these mansions. Uh, Lil Wayne told us when the Carter number four was going to come out. Obviously, the record label said, nah, wait a minute. Yeah, hold up. It's been pushed back to June. June what? It's supposed to come out maybe Juneteenth. I don't know. Juneteenth. Uh, I, can I don't know. It's coming out on the 5th. Yeah? Of Neverwhere. Right. No, I don't know when it's going to come out, but uh, it was supposed to happen on May 16th, and then there was a track listing, and now we don't know when it's going to come out. He, guaranteed he will not come out the same week as Beyonce. Because her album's dropping, what, June 16th is the date of her album? Why not? No way they're going to do it on the same week. No? Why? No? Why? Why not? For what? Two different lanes. Uh, uh, well, it is. It is. Two different lanes. It is, but I think they're mutual. They're both superstars. They're both huge. They're both on the top of their game and their genre that they do. All right, speaking of superstars, uh, Mariah Carey's going to be on the X Factor. Okay. Everybody else had turned down. Simon, but uh, she confirmed that she will be on the X Factor as a judge. Her and her husband both doing reality TV. Well done. So that's good. Yeah. It'll be good for her because she can be in one place with the babies, try to get the baby weight off before she goes back and does touring and all that stuff. You know, mm-hmm. it's, and look what it did for J-Lo. I mean, she's never looked better. Her career's back on track. So I mean, she is releasing songs and stuff, right? It doesn't matter. Okay. She looks good. Right. Who good. cares? Okay. No I mean, movies you know, or anything. I'll take her Millie Vanilli any day. Okay. All right? I bet you would. And uh, last but not least, you know, Dr. Conrad Murray always seems to be in the right place at the right time. Except when it comes to Michael Jackson. The man who from now on will be known as the man who killed Michael Jackson. Mm-hmm. Whose children will now be known as the man whose father killed Michael Jackson. Whose children's children will now be known as the man whose grandfather kills Michael wow. Jackson. It's a legacy. It is a legacy. But on a plane... From uh, San Francisco to Minneapolis Sunday morning, uh, the pilot made an announcement asking, is there anybody here who's a doctor? Dr. Murray said, aha, I'm a doctor. Apparently uh, helped revive a guy who had taken ill as paramedics checked him at the gate. Do you have a problem with that? Uh, no, I, no, absolutely not. I mean, at the end of the day, whether he was a bad or a good doctor to Michael, the alternative, if I'm dying... If I need a medical doctor, I really don't care what his credentials are. So long as you can do the Heimlich or get me together or keep me alive for someone else to come. I agree with that to a certain point. What do you mean? As long as when I come to, he doesn't say, I'm going to give you something to help you sleep. (laughs) Then I'm saying, I'm good.
I'm good. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. Let me, let me give you a shot, Ryan. Come over here. You want to give me a shot? Right. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> that is your Ryan Report. Right here on your free money station where if you want to go see Diddy and Dirty Money, call in right now, 741-WV, and tell us, what did I just say was my dream book? What you know about the Ryan Cameron Show? Suck. Hey, I do know that the Ryan Report is brought to you by DK Suit City. Oh, that, that got some sharp over there. What they got? What look, they busting on? They got a new Calvin Klein slip for oh, you. Yo, CK? Yeah, you can pay oh. 500 at the mall or you can pay $199 at DK. And they have. $199. Hell, you and say. And they have five Atlanta locations, too. Woo. But if you really want to just go on the web, just go to DKSuitCity.com. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Go to DK and be open casket, Sean. <laughs> and if you don't know, now you know. You know.